Hey guys, so I was just out here flipping boards after a torrential downpour. And then I flipped this guy. A little scarlet snake, and I wish I could say it was a beautiful one, but this guy's seen better days. Um, actually appears that he has SFD, so I think I'm just going to put him back and wish him the best, but he desperately needs a shed. He's very skinny. I feel bad for him, but that's something. Hopefully we can find something else, but I'm going to go let this guy go. There's a bunch of old rubble laying around in this field here, so it's like a vacant lot, actually. So yeah, pretty good area to find these guys. I feel really bad for them, like I said, but I can't really do anything for them. I would try to give them a meal, but they only eat reptile eggs, or at least mainly. That's their number one thing that they prefer to eat, and they don't eat much else, so it would be kind of hard to help them. We're going to wish this guy the best. It feels good to find a snake because, honestly, it's been a while since I've even been out herping, so we're going to let that guy go and see what else we can find. A usual suspect in conditions such as these. Man, you got mosquitoes all over you. Gulf Coast box turtle. What a fantastic creature. All right, let's let him go. He's got mosquitoes all over him. I want to get him out of the road. Nice. Well, look at this little guy. There's a cottonmouth right here, a baby cottonmouth. There was buzzards. They're about to chomp the little guy. They're about to eat him up, I assume. Wow, he's beautiful. Beautiful little cotton mouth. All the buzzards. Cool, well, it's a pretty common snake in Florida, but I'll take it. They're always a treat. You can see them giving that typical cotton mouth display. What a fantastic little snake. We're gonna make sure he gets off the road safely. But it's awesome, I figured I might see one of those out here because it is very wet, as you can see. It just rained, it's been raining a long time today, so this guy was out. And I'll tell you, it would really suck to get bitten by this guy. So guys, while I have this guy here, I figured I'd do a little demonstration of just how aggressive these snakes are because I hear a lot of people say that they chase, they've been chased by a cottonmouth, or at least they say their uncle's aunt's cousin's grandpa has been chased by a cottonmouth. Well, let me show you how to get chased by a cottonmouth. You can see he's already doing his defensive display right there with his mouth open. That's about the extent of what they do, guys. See, I'm waving my foot over him. This is a cloth shoe. He wouldn't bite through it, through the sole of it, but still, um, you know, it wouldn't be something I'd be willing to risk if I thought he was just going to attack me. Let's see, I'm going to walk up to him. Still no chasing happening. They don't chase you. I don't know where that myth came from. They absolutely do not chase you. All right, so I've got my hook out. I sanitized it after handling that scarlet snake because he did probably have SFD. All right, let's move this guy. <laughs> All right. Here you go, dude. Stay out of the road. Go on. <laughs> Look at that defensive display. Notice not striking. Just opening his mouth, saying, get back. He's showing us that white inside of his mouth so that hopefully if we're a predator, we'd leave him alone. But he doesn't have that to worry about. We're here to help him. We want him to get off the road so we can continue cruising and he can stay safe. But he just wants to sit there in a ball with his mouth open. So I'm going to actually take him over here. Get a little angry guy. They don't usually... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Hopefully he'll take off. Those, uh, those vultures were really eyeballing him when I pulled up. I think they were about to eat him. Even though he's not dead. 
there we go. So it looks like the vultures have resumed their normal behaviors, but that's the first time I've ever seen them like down on the ground thinking about eating something alive, but interesting. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we got a Dior snake right here, so we'll see what it is. Francia abacura abacura, eastern mud snake. Well guys, my day is freaking made. There was a car in front of me, a car behind me. I couldn't stop, so I slowed down, stopped way over there. But look at this. Baby Eastern Diamondback. Heck yes. Look at that animal. Wow, 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 wow. This is too cool. All right, I've got to get him somewhere where I can photograph him. And this is the thing is, this is a newborn baby rattlesnake. These things come out big. They are the largest species of rattlesnake in the U.S. And they come out the largest babies because they do give birth to live young. And this little guy is pretty long. He's close to a foot. And he's a freshborn baby. I mean, you can see he has no rattles yet. He's rattling his tail like crazy, but he's not making any noise. That is so cool. Really fortunate that he didn't get hit. He's so angry. He's rattling his little tail like crazy, but it's not actually making any noise. Because he hasn't had his first shed yet. Wow. Guys, if that cotton mouth wasn't proof enough that snakes aren't just evil monsters out to get you, I hope this does prove it. Look at this thing. I'm not far away from it. My hand's right here. He's just tiny. The snake has no interest in hurting me whatsoever. I guess, guys, what I'm trying to say here is if you can just look past this being a snake for a moment, just think about it as an animal, a part of the world, a part of the earth. It's so beautiful. I mean, if it was anything else with those colors, most people would undoubtedly say it's a beautiful animal. But because it is a snake and it possesses venom to kill its prey, people think of these as monsters, and it's just crazy to me. I grew up not thinking of them that way. I grew up thinking of them as beneficial parts of the ecosystem and just all around incredible animals. I was never taught to fear them. So it's, it's hard for me to see them the way other people do that don't like snakes. So it's hard for me to explain, but guys, if you can just try for a moment to look beyond the way you've been taught to see them negatively, look at that beautiful animal right there. All right, well, I think I've aggravated it long enough. There's cars flying by over there, and as much as I would like to move this little guy away from the traffic completely, I know I can't really do that because this is his little home range and he probably just left his mom. Mothers do actually stay with them for a few days before they disperse. So this guy probably just left his mom. Um, usually they do that after their first shed, but it looks like this guy hasn't even had his first shed yet, so he's looking for his first meal of his life. He probably hasn't even eaten yet. So I don't want to move him too far from his little hunting area here, so we're going to let him go on back into the scrub habitat. Um, it does look like it goes on for quite a ways that way without being interrupted, so hopefully he makes it and hopefully he never crosses that road again and never comes in contact with another person. Alright, let's send him on his way. I had a friend call me from Georgia today saying that um, she had a rattlesnake in her yard and she wanted me to come remove it. Obviously, I couldn't, but it kind of inspired me to go out and look for myself, and sure enough, heck yeah. Well, my day is completely made. Let me get my sweaty hair out of my face. My day is completely made. It can't get any better than that. 
I'm thinking now that I've seen so much on this road during the day, I've got to go get gas right now. But I'm thinking that when Caitlin gets off work, maybe we can come out here and look for some more snakes. If that happens, then that will be the second part of this video. But if not, I'm signing off right here. See you guys later. All right, first snake of the night, it's a banded water snake. Just got back out after finding the diamondback earlier. Let's see what else we can get. <laughs> This is recent too. Yeah, it's super recent. It was probably that guy, or the person before him. That's terrible. All right, next snake of the night is a cottonmouth, right? And we were thinking we weren't gonna see any more snakes. Cute little guy. Really pretty around here. Where are you going? He's going under me. It raining! Really, really hard. Don't worry, I can swim. We got a ribbon. A long guy. Ooh. And the <laughs> pouring rain. Nice, long ribbon snake. Alright, get out of here, kid. Get out of here. 